All right, welcome back, you two. We got a double feature today on a knife review. We've got the art two artesian cutlery knives, the Centauri, Ray Laconico design, and the Arroyo, a Dirk Pinkerton design. So, two well-known manufacturers, not manufacturers, designers in the knife industry, both in the, United, in, in the U.S. Made by Artesian Cutlery, which is a, a Chinese brand. But I will tell you what, they do good things. I actually met these guys at the USN show 2019. And really nice guys. I met the US rep. His name's escaping me. But yeah, I was impressed with them then. They work with a lot of great designers. So both these knives are in part of the Apex Pass Around group. I just happened to land both of them around the same time. I'm a little overdue on this one, so I apologize. But uh, they they arrived short, you know within a couple weeks of each other. I thought might as well do a review together because they're both good representations of what artesian cutlery can do. So let's start with the Arroyo because it's the least expensive model. And we'll go through some basic specs and just kind of my impressions on it. So you're looking at about a blade length of about 3.31 inches. Um, OD Green Micarta handles. This one is in RPM9 steel, which is their proprietary steel kind of similar to D2 in some ways. Um, length of the handle is 4.1 inches. Overall length is 7.48 inches, which is a great size, guys. I really like this size knife. Like the Mini Adamas that I have, I just did the big long review on is around that same size. And I think it's perfect. Um, the pair of threes are right around that size. This one's got some aftermarket scales on it, but, and the bug out is around that size. So you got, those are just, they're perfect size knives in my opinion, for me anyway, especially. So really good size, 0.11 inch blade stock thickness. Um, it is a liner lock flipper on bearings um, with a deep carry pocket clip. Price about 69 bucks, really good deal for the price. Uh, pretty thin blade stock, some nice jimping up here. And that handle design, holy cow. This is one of the more ergonomic knives I think I've ever felt. Um, initially just getting it in your hand. Now under use, it's a little thin in the handle so that could cause issues. And then that's got that really upswept blade there with that nice wedge. Looks a real, just really cool looking blade. Little, not as quite as useful blade shape, but still pretty useful. You know, there's a lot of belly, so if you need that, that's good. Um, uh, but just a really good looking knife for 70 bucks. I mean, really good deal. Comes in G10 and um, some, and micarta options as far as the handle. This is the green micarta, um, really nice, nice action on this guy, centered. I mean, really good example of what you can get for 70 bucks. Really, really good um, budget knife. A little bit over a budget knife, but a little bit more money, you're getting a, a dang good product. So, size, I, I did some size comparison. So, next to the Centauri, it's quite a bit smaller, and you already saw the other size comparisons. And this is more my size knife. I wish this knife was that size. I wish most knives were this size, because I think they're perfect for EDC. But that's for my hand size. Now, if you got big hands, this might be a little small for you. I just cut myself. Uh, this one might be more around your wheelhouse. It's a bigger knife. Let's throw out a few other bigger knives. Strider SNG, pretty close in size. Um, this is the Cancept Cryo. I'm gonna do a video on this because I've really been enjoying that knife. A little bit bigger than the Cryo, just barely. Um, and then again, here's like the bug out to show you a little bit smaller knife. So, so it's definitely bigger than a medium sized knife. It's more of a large knife in my opinion. And this one has carbon fiber and titanium. You have an overall length of 8.125 inches. So I like usually to have my knives be under eight inches overall length. Uh, three and a quarter inch, or excuse me, three and a half inch blade. I'd say it's a little bigger than that. Um, blade width is 1.125. Blade thickness is 0.13. This is the Damascus version, it does come in S35 as well. I would prefer that, but that's this is what was sent to the, the pass room. So this is a titanium frame lock. The frame lock is really nicely milled, as you can see here. This is, and this knife's been through the pass room quite a bit, so it's gotten some carry and wear marks from everyone using it. Um, I really like the milling on the titanium. 
And then it has, um, it's obviously got a nice carbon fiber show side, a back spacer here, Ray Laconico, Artesian Cutlery. Really a nice folder, guys. Uh, it's a front flipper, and it's one of the better front flippers that I think I've used. Um, it just is flawless. Now, you do have this big giant nub sticking out of the front of your knife. That's one of the issues I don't like about front flippers is that. So, but this one is so smooth. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, the, the pivot has moved on me a couple times. I've had to tighten it, but that's because I'm constantly flipping it. It's such a fidget, fidgety knife. Front flippers are very fidgety knives, and this one is a really good front flipper. So if you're into front flippers or you like fidgety knives, this would be a good choice because you can get it for around 200 bucks, um, which for what you're getting quality wise is really good. Um, it's a good value. It's you know that's for the S35 carbon fiber. I think the Damascus might be a little bit more expensive, um, but it is a like I said a pretty good sized knife in my hand. It's pretty substantially big. Like if I choke back, I'm good. Um, or if I can choke up here, I'm good as far as, you know, control, but where I would normally grab a knife right here, I just, it's just a little big, um, for what I like. That's just an observation on my end, not to say that it's overly big. Now it's a thin knife as well. So your handle thickness is well under a half inch, I believe. That can't be right. Yeah, that's more likely just over 4.4 inches so it's pretty thin very thin handle um the arroyo is thicker it's 0.435 so it doesn't look it when you look at them side by side but it's definitely a thinner uh slim so you know it's a slim front flipper with carbon fiber it's lightweight um why isn't there no weight measurement on it. I don't have my scale handy, so let's see if I can find that on the internet. 3.7 ounces. So for a pretty good size knife, it's pretty light. It's very light. It feels light in hand. It's because you got that full sharp carbon fiber show side, no liners, and then a titanium frame lock uh, connected by this backspacer. Pretty simple construction. The pocket clip is nice. Um, the pocket clip on this is obviously just a stainless steel full over clip, deep carry. On the Centuri, it is milled, but it works really well. It's been a nice, overall, a really nice knife to carry and use. I just wish it was a bit smaller. Like, again, I wish it was this size. Because I do find this more Warncliffe-ish blade. It's got a little bit more belly than a standard Warncliffe. But I do find that blade should be a little bit more useful and easy task than this, than this upswept blade. But... Overall, they're both great knives for the money, guys. Um, can't go wrong. 70 bucks on this on the Arroyo. Micarta flipper on bearings, nice and smooth. Then you go up to this $200 price range and you have an even smoother knife. Um, that's pretty much dropped shut. It's so nice. And it's a front flipper, but it's a little bigger. Now, they do make this in a smaller version, but they made it so small. They made it under three inches, like... Can the smaller version not be 3.25 inch blade? That that's to me would be a smaller version, but maybe that's the medium and no one wants to make the medium. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. These are my impressions on the Centurion Arroyo after spending some time with them. Thanks again to the Apex Pass Around Group, and we will see you on the next video.